Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome to Grace Blossoms for You. And today I want to make some rather large clusters. Clusters that can be used as tuck spots, but will take up a large part of your page and don't necessarily need to go onto a pocket, but they could if you have, you know, large pockets. So what I'm starting with is a base of a paper snippet roll. And I happened to have sewn this one, but what I did was I just took a bunch of scrap papers and I tried to keep them in neutral tones. And then I just sewed them together and I wasn't, you know, I tried to um, alternate a little bit between say decorative book page, color, maybe music paper or something colorful something plain and so on you could do this totally with glue if you wanted and I tried to keep my edges kind of rough but I didn't then I ended up cutting apart my snippet roll because of the the seams so I'm probably going to end up doing a little more tearing and then yeah, so these um, are fairly large. I would say they're about four inches by four inches. And I didn't do that on purpose. They just kind of, some of them are like smaller, but they're all nothing special, I would say. That's not a snippet roll. So I have enough here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clusters. So that should be like a small mass make here. So I started on one and this is, on, is going quite well. I'm quite happy with that one. I did do some fussy cutting to get some focal points and then that's a, a label and that's a heart that I s tried to sew around and so I and some lace that I put some ink on so now I just have to attach this and uh, while I'm waiting for my glue I was debating whether I should add a feather I think something soft would be nice Maybe if I tuck that in back there. I have to be kind of flat though. Maybe that feather is a little too big. Or maybe I need some softer lace. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. All right, so that's gonna be one. Then I'll just take the next piece here. And this is kind of the formula I'm working with here. Uh, a cutout. I don't know, maybe a perfume bottle. Maybe this bottle. And then something. I have a lot of lace out so I could cut another piece here. Could go up with that one if I wanted. In fact, I could go both ways if I really wanted. like my glue battery is wearing out on me here. I'm just gonna switch. Okay, so yeah, I mean there's no right or wrong, it just depends on what you like. So. So you know, what I was thinking of was like making tucks out of them 
and um, this one doesn't look like it needs a whole lot yet. Maybe a word tag or maybe one of these round things. I've been making a ton of round things. I don't know what you'd call them, but they are fun. And I'm finding them um, kind of addictive to make, so I don't know. Maybe it needs a smaller one. How about something shiny like that? Got my labels. go in there. I'm just gonna take out some labels. Okay. I'm thinking of putting something in each of my journals so people know where it comes from. So this is my channel name, and I have explained the meaning of it before, but I'll do it again in case you haven't been watching me for long. Um, Grace Blossoms for You was the name that was given to me, um, I believe, by the Lord as um, a phrase or a picture of what happens when we when we come to him and we want to know him and then the grace he has for us blossoms like a flower so the more that we come to him and want to know him the more he opens himself up to us the more he reveals himself I guess that's what I'm going for in explaining it the more he the more he lets us find him the more he lets us know him and so that is where I got the name grace blossoms for you so you could use whatever glue you like I'm just using the hot glue because it's drying quicker so, there's one. And then, for this one. I did ink some of these things already. What I didn't ink yet is the edge, or the paper strips, or the um, snippet roll, or other. So I guess I could do that. Of course, inking is totally your option, your choice, your your decision. The paper will show through the lace here, so I just want to do that a little. So how are you guys all doing? Did you happen to catch the series? that uh, we were doing with Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda. That was so much fun and yet I found myself exhausted at the end of the week so I must have done a lot of work. <laughs> but yeah, that was sure a lot of fun and very helpful for building your stash. And the tags were not that difficult to make either. They were fairly simple. 
I mean, I did um, improvise on some things, but that's okay. Okay, so there's two. And the next one. So yeah, I found some more perfume bottles on the Creative Fabrica. And so I printed out a bunch of them. I, I had so much fun using that one in the challenge. So I decided I wanted to do more. And too, I thought of a verse that goes with that. You know, we are the fragrance of Christ. And I was going to look it up because I can't remember the exact words. But um, we are the fragrance of Christ. And to some, you know, we smell bad. To some, we smell good. It depends on whether the people are saved or not as to how we smell. Um, that's a paraphrase or explanation of the verse there. So, yeah, so the perfume would definitely come in to play here. Looking for something soft. Um, let's see, maybe spread that yellow out a little that way. And then need something for behind there. You know, fall is coming up. We could do that. I almost feel like I need to take the the back off the leaves. These leaves are just the dollar store ones. So if you take the plastic off the back, you can actually lay it flatter. I like that, I think. So then, just need something. I don't know, I want to say... Soft and yet I keep reaching for this feather which is soft. Maybe I need to cut it again. These um, are very fluffy. I don't know if they're real or not but <laughs> yeah. Okay I'm just gonna plop that down. I'm going to put it upside down because why not? So what are you guys working on? Are you working on a journal? Are you finishing a journal? Um, yeah, what are your projects? I'm going to put this on there to flatten. Mostly to flatten, but also to kind of connect everything. But yeah, that does flatten the uh, feather a little bit. So. There, that's another one. So I'm seeing, okay, so snippet roll, focal point, connector, that's what I call it. So one, two, three, four, five. So I've got basically five things to a cluster here, so. All right, so this is a little smaller one. Yep, 
yeah, I didn't think I was particularly good at making a snippet roll. And then it just kind of came together. I think you have to be in the mood for it. That's basically what I'm coming away with. If you're in the mood for it, it's going to be easier. It's just going to come together better. So that's what I think about that. And two, I don't have any in these snippet rolls, but I love to use this stuff. And it is August now, and it's definitely sunflower season. I've seen a whole bunch out. Even in the city, I see a whole bunch. Obviously not as many as you would see in the country, but... This cluster or snippet roll is a little sh short, so I'm just gonna add that in behind there. I think maybe. Something like that to make it a little wider or something. I don't know. And then, I don't know, I keep reaching for this pile. I need to add some other things. Maybe that could be there. It's pretty large. Maybe add some green. Or do I want to stick with the... I like this one. Love, rinse, repeat. Because basically, love people. And whether they receive it or not, love on them. Then rinse, in other words, refresh yourself in the Lord. Wash yourself in the Word. And then repeat. So love again. That's what I was thinking when I made that one. And I think we need some music in the back here. Something like that. So. I tend to forget where I'm going to put things, so I have too much. So I'll probably have to put it on the front here. Yep. I put it in places it shouldn't have gone. Yeah, so I think I like the size of these because you can either put them on a page by themselves or you can, like I said, put them on a larger pocket. Or if you were making large tags, you could even put them on tags. be putting some of these in my perfect peace journal. I haven't picked that up in a bit, but I have to get going on it, so I'm going to be using a lot of the things that I made this week, or this last week.
I've got so many things ready. I'm getting really excited about um, putting the actual journal together now. All right, that's what we got here. I don't know, for some reason the green is really calling out to me these days. So yeah, I have not um, really gotten the gift of gab yet. I'm still waiting. <laughs> I don't have any um, background in really talking, so I was enjoying, I'll tell you this though, I was enjoying Peg over at um, Craft Room Stories. And uh, she had a background, she said, in radio. And I thought, well, isn't that just perfect for doing these videos? Because, you know, we have a voice and you know it and you know how to use it. So, I don't know, I just thought that was great. So... Looking for a butterfly. I'm gonna have some in here. Oh, I have bling too. Bling is nice. But yeah, I'll put that there. I thought I had this one down already. Okay. Looks a little loose. I don't want this part to be the tuck necessarily. I want the uh, whole thing to be the tuck. I suppose you could do tuck upon tuck if you really wanted to. Okay, two more. I got some new lace. Oh my goodness, it's stretchy. And it's really soft and I got quite a bit of it so I definitely want to use it the reason we get pretty things is so that we can put them in our journals so I just don't know which one it's Probably going to be nicer on this one because it has more darker. This one has darker paper. I 
I do love the one with the teddy bear. I made a few of those teddy bear cutouts and um, yeah, I just, I mean, didn't we all have a teddy bear when we were little and doesn't it just take you back? I remember when I was little, my favorite teddy bear, my sister, my sis, yeah, my sister made for me and she actually sewed it. She had a pattern and she sewed it. And so this one very much reminds me of that one, except I don't recall mine having that bow, but yeah. My sister probably remembers that teddy bear better than I do. I think I played with that thing until it fell apart and it probably couldn't be fixed anymore. At least that's my recollection of it. Of course, then when I got older, we uh, discovered Winnie the Pooh and my sister and I both enjoyed that. So. really think, huh, I could rough it up a little, but it kind of curls it if you do that. Hmm. Interesting. I might want that at the bottom then. Uh, maybe I want it both. Probably the stretchy part, so it's got some kind of elastic in it. Alright, so there's a bird cage. And then I feel like I need something else here. Maybe this one can have the. I think the bird's going to have a happy day because. Um, he's free. He's not in the cage. Something like that. And then, I don't know, do I need another heart there? I need something. Maybe a butterfly. Let me see. Butterfly behind, like so. That'll work, I think. I'm just gonna ink the edges. Then I have to see if I remember how to put it on there. So the lace goes over there. The bird cage goes over here. butterfly over here yeah I kind of like it hanging over the edge it was starting to look a little too square for my liking so yeah something like that
And two, I didn't think I was particularly good at making clusters. And then the other day when I had to make one for the tag, it just seemed easier. And I thought, well, maybe it's because up until now I haven't really had the things, you know, the things like cutouts. Maybe I didn't have enough um, things that were fussy cut to actually just throw things together. And I think the snippet roll as a base really helps. So I'm going to say that that is one of the ways to make it easier for yourself if you're struggling making clusters. I'm just finding it's helping me, so it's kind of like a foundation and then you can you can take clues from it like you can either try to match some of the coloring or you can like complement so for instance yellow and green goes together orange blue like these colors here go together so then if the the majority of this goes with this and that's again where the ink comes in for me I'll be able to tell better if I like this with it after I ink it. Or I have a couple other options. This one seems a little small and that's even smaller so I think I'm gonna go with this one and then I just have to um, build it up. That one and that one. Nope. It's got to be something with color. Okay. Use this guy. I don't know, I feel like that's too thick. So, there's some more pretty lace. Oh yeah, especially because it shows the sewing through. And then maybe a smaller clock. Like that. Yes, like that. Okay, so first things first the lace. Tack it down more later, especially once I know what I like. I still like this one. It says be blessed. maybe and then the clock can go down here just gotta make sure that's sticking out enough
And there we go. And I did all that without using any bling. So how about that? All right, we did it. Okay, I did it. Maybe you just watched and maybe you joined along. But um, I will say that was a productive time. So there are the seven. There are the seven that we made. So yeah, hope you had fun. Enjoyed that. And uh, make some yourself. You'll find that it's it gets easier as you go. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.